Over the years, Tesla has incorporated differing production, design, and distribution systems that distinguish it from other car makers like Toyota, Ford, and GM Motors to say a few. And this is the reason behind its success. Tesla's process of vertical integration and innovation of eradicating the middleman in distribution, among others, has not only improved its perception of quality among buyers, but also enabled it to put forth very unique cars which have created a whole niche for themselves and have become pace-setting, trend-blazing standards that are competitively priced. In this video, we'll examine a more physical innovation that other car makers have not been able to replicate that Tesla's success in the industry can be credited to. We will also examine exactly why Tesla has sole access to this technology at the moment. And so, without much ado, what exactly is the Gigapress? Gigapress is a series of die casting machines for aluminum alloys made by an Italian company called the Hydra Group. Die casting itself is a manufacturing process in which hot metal is in a molten state and poured into a series of dies with unique shapes, after which the metal is allowed to cool. As the metal cools, it takes the shape of the die. The process is not one recently created. In fact, it's almost as old as the first blacksmiths in history. But the Gigapress takes the die casting process to a whole new level. A process so unique and iconic that it's won our focus and set the Tesla brand apart from all competitors. This beast of a machine is used to die cast the whole body of a Tesla vehicle. This type of production is unprecedented in the automotive industry, as rival manufacturers usually weld hundreds of smaller parts to each other to make the body of their vehicles. The Gigapress, on the other hand, cuts off all these smaller processes by replacing them with the single process of die casting the body of the vehicle in the huge machine. The end result is a much stronger, more reliable, fully shaped vehicle chassis with fewer joints and possible fracture points, hence drastically reducing the possibility of failure to a seriously low level. This unique and beautiful process also reduces the cost of production to a moderate level, since less work needs to go into the creation of the chassis, which brings Tesla ever closer to the vision of rolling out vehicles that are as cheap or even cheaper than fossil fuel-based vehicles largely in use worldwide. This process also involves fewer robots and even people, further centralizing the production process and rooting out more frequent issues that could occur along the chain of production. For a conventional production line with many pit stops for robotics and human work on several segments of the vehicle before it reaches its final state, many flaws could occur. According to legend, Musk had the idea to die cast a whole vehicle while playing around with a die cast toy car. Talk about a mad genius. After a little research and some meetings, he found out that it was actually indeed possible. Then he decided to partner with the Hydra Group to make custom Gigapresses that can effectively fit Tesla's design and needs. The Gigapress is the largest high pressure die casting machine in the world, hence the suffix Giga, interestingly aligning with Tesla's choice of the suffix Giga in their naming of their factories. The Gigapress measures about 20 meters in length, 6 meters in height, and 5.3 meters in width and is capable of 6,100 kilonewtons of clamping force. Each machine itself weighs between 410 to 430 tons. The customized Gigapress that is supplied to Tesla for industrial use is known as the GL6100CS, and they started using it in late 2020 on the Tesla Model Y. The principle of the Gigapress does not differ much from any other die casting process. That is, aluminum alloy is fed into the mold of the Gigapress, and once the metal cools and solidifies, it takes the shape of the mold and is removed. Robots spray soybean oil inside the mold before the molten metal is forced in, making the removal process of the chassis a lot easier after the metal is solidified. Molten aluminum alloy is forced into the die at a speed of 10 meters per second. A single shot that weighs 80 kilograms is injected into the casting mold. Once the metal is solidified and taken out, the robots clean the casting mold and spray the soybean oil again to prepare for the next cycle. This whole process of making one mold takes about 80 to 90 seconds, and so the machine is able to make 40 to 45 castings per hour, and about 1,000 castings per day if the machine is to run for a full 24 hours. This is definitely much faster than a chassis that goes through the welding of any conventional assembly line for vehicles out there. But speed is also not the only advantage that Gigapress offers. It also offers reliability. There's only one point of failure in the manufacturing process, and it's the press itself. While in the conventional assembly line, there are several points of failure. If one robot in the assembly line goes down, the whole production process is put on hold until it's fixed. Another great benefit of the Gigapress manufacturing process 
is that there are fewer points to join together. For instance, the use of the Gigapress for the production of the Model 3 helped them eliminate 370 individual parts entirely. This makes production less complex and a lot more seamless. If the use of the Gigapress brings such a great advantage, why is it only Tesla that currently still uses it? Why don't other car makers get Gigapresses for themselves as well? To answer this is actually complicated. It's not easy in reality to just copy what Tesla does. A lot more goes into using a Gigapress than just placing an order with the Idra Group. The key ingredient to this process is Tesla's top-notch alloy that they developed by themselves. This alloy is thanks to the premium materials engineering talent that comes from Musk's other company, SpaceX. To truly grasp the effectiveness of Tesla's aluminum alloys, you would need to understand a phenomenon called shrinkage cracks. What then is a shrinkage crack all about? When a metal is hot, it expands and shrinks when it's cooled down. This expansion and shrinkage can cause thermal fatigue and ultimately leads to crack propagation in the structure. Even if the cracks don't show up during the manufacturing process, it will leave a defect in the microstructure and ultimately impact the car much later. Even the slightest one, hitting a pothole or even a bump, can leave big cracks in the structure, some even visible. The special alloy that Musk produces does not have this problem, and other car makers sadly don't have access to metal of this quality. Wondering why? Well, obviously because they don't have NASA-related privileges. Another reason why other automakers have not quickly copied this manufacturing system is that it involves a huge initial capital investment. It does not make much sense to scrap an already functioning production process for one that involves such an expensive initial capital investment, only to put up another system that also requires a huge capital investment, as would be the case for these car makers if they choose the Gigapresses. Scrapping a billion dollar factory to save money on a single die casting procedure is not very logical. No matter how deep their pockets are, no profit-oriented venture ultimately likes to record losses, not even at the expense of innovation. At least, not yet. Finally, the Gigapress itself is very hard to acquire. Idra Group makes the machines only produce 12 Gigapresses per year, and Tesla, no surprise here, bought up all their stock last year. And so, even if other automakers decide to use die-casting technology, they would not be able to get a Gigapress that early. Although it is possible that this die-casting production process may become popular and more widespread in the not-so-distant future of the automotive vehicle production and sales. At this moment, though, Tesla has the monopoly of this motivation, and quite heavily, I might add. This, of course, has resulted in such levels of achievement that beats out rival auto manufacturers in the industry. This is indeed the casting of an automobile industry dictator, with a glistening view, too. What do you think will break this well-casted ice fist in developing or buying the Gigapress innovation and effectively stand on equal terms with Tesla in the production of high-quality vehicle chassis? And do you think that there could be some disadvantage to the Gigapress that could give other vehicle manufacturers a fighting chance in this area? Leave your comments below.